Hey guys, what's up? What's good? What's poppin'? My name is Paula and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So it's spooky season, so today I have a Halloween look for you guys and it's just this snake serpent lady look. And before I jump into it, I wanna ask you guys to please subscribe, join the family, leave a comment below, and yeah. <laughs> For this look, you're gonna need four shades of green eyeshadow, a hairnet or fishnet stockings, black eyeliner and eyeshadow, and a light concealer and a really dark concealer or contour. So I suggest that you just watch this video once before you attempt this look, just so you know what you're gonna get yourself into. I'm gonna start by putting concealer over my eyebrows, running the ends of it, then setting it with setting powder, using the Sasha Buttercup. I do want to diminish their appearance, but I don't want to get rid of them completely. Then I'm gonna use the Bright Concealer, which is the Revolution Concealer in the shade C12, and I'm setting it with my Sasha Buttercup powder as well. Now I'm just gonna get the L'Oreal Concealer, and as you can see, it's a way deeper shade than I'll usually use for my contour, but I want to just carve out my face, just because it's gonna add a very nice dimension to the look. And when you're blending this out, don't worry about harsh lines, because it is gonna be covered by the, um, the powder and all the color you're gonna have over it. But when you're blending it around your eyes, just bring the dark color down onto your eyelids just to elongate the appearance of your cheeks. And also bring the contour in your cheeks all the way down to the corner of your mouth. Now I'm just going to get concealer and put it on the high points of my cheeks just because I brought the contour down too low. And I'm just going to place that under the contour on my cheeks as well. And when you're doing the contour on your nose, you really want your nose to be snatched because snakes don't have noses, so you want to diminish the appearance of your nose as much as possible. And we're trying to look like Voldemort here, so picture Voldemort when you're contouring your nose. Then I'm just gonna get concealer and put it on the center of my nose. For this look, I'm gonna use the Tammy Times Revolution palette, and I'm using the two green shades I just showed. Then I'm gonna use the Grind palette by NYX Cosmetics, and I'm using the dark green shade. Then I'm also gonna use the Sugar Trip Squad palette by NYX Cosmetics, and I'm gonna use that green yellow shimmer shade. And I'm just gonna get that dark almost an ashy brown black color and I'm going to use it to go over my contour just to deepen the sides of my face and here comes the fun part so get your hair net or your stocking and place it on your face then just move it around so you can control where the scales will be and now we're gonna stamp the colors onto our faces so start with the darkest color in my case it's the color in the grind palette and you just want to stipple this onto your face don't use any brushing um, strokes because you might get it under the lines of the net and to ruin the look of the scale so just stamp the colors in then I'm going to go into the lighter green and I'm going to place that under the dark green but I'm also gonna bring it a little bit up into the dark green just so it has a nice gradient and a nice blended smooth effect then we're just gonna keep doing this with the other colors I'm going to go in with the light color in the revolution palette then I'm going to go in with the green yellow color in the NYX palette feel free to use any greens you have as long as there are four different shades and preferably have a shimmer in the lighter colors just that way it will be brighter in the center of your face along as with the really bright concealer you have you can also get away with having only three green colors now i'm gonna get the same dark ashy brown color and put it around the deep green only on the on my hairline and voila you should be looking something like this a very easy way to get the scales now we're gonna move on to the eyes get any black eyeliner pen that you have and I'm just gonna go ahead and start drawing like a wing eyeliner shape 
and then I'm going to go under my eyes and draw a little triangle to imitate a snake's eye shape then I'm also gonna draw a line right under my eye and it's going to be just under my bottom lashes and now I'm just gonna get this same eyeliner and I'm going to draw a line over my crease so this is just to trace the cut crease we're gonna do it is just gonna help me have an idea of where I want to put it and if you have put it eyes like me be sure to go over your crease so that it can be seen even when your eyes are closed and this is an additional step but it adds a nice little aesthetic to the look so I'm using the NYX Vivid's bright eyeliner and this is just a bright green shade and I'm going to put that inside the triangle that we drew under our eye or under my eye and then I'm also going to place that right under the black that I drew on the top of my crease and I'm also going to draw a line over the liner that I have right on my eyelid. And don't be afraid to make any mistakes with this because we can always cover it up later. Now I'm getting a black eyeshadow, you can use any that you have and I'm going to pat it over the eyeliner I have and then I'm also going to put it over the green that we just drew. So I'm just gonna blend the black shade over the green I have here and I'm also gonna place that on my lower lash and I'm going to blend it along the triangle that I have. So my technique is just patting the color on and then blending it out and you wanna blend it up into your eyebrow. So now I'm using the black eyeliner pen to hide any mistakes I might have made. And then I'm just gonna go back over it with black eyeshadow, just to make it blend into the rest of the eyeshadow. And now I'm adding the dark green from the grind palette under the black just to have it blend perfectly with the look. I'm getting concealer and it's the same concealer I use for the rest of my face. And I'm just going to clean up any mistakes I made with the green line. And it should look something like this. I just set it with setting powder. And when you do my other eye. I'm getting the same concealer and I'm going to place that over my lips and I'm going to put it over the top of my lips as well and blend it up into my cheeks just because I got some bit of fallout and I want to cover that and I'm setting it with my Sasha Buttercup setting powder and now I'm gonna draw the nose of the snake onto my nose and I'm using eyeliner to draw the mouth so just draw a line from the corner of your lips to about halfway through your cheeks and then draw a line making it curve upwards so just imagine you're drawing like a smile but with sharp edges and now I'm gonna get the black eyeshadow and put it on the center of my mouth you can use a black lipstick as well but I just prefer the look of the eyeshadow and now I'm gonna get the eyeshadow and brush it along the side of the mouth I drew so I'm setting my face and now to do the neck, just use the black eyeshadow and draw two lines and then just kind of diffuse the color a little bit. You don't have to spend too much time on this. Then get the same light concealer and then draw two stripes on your neck. And I'm just blending it out and making sure that they're, they're almost like the same thickness. And now I'm just going to go back into the same brush. I'm using a mixture of the black color and the dark green from the NYX palette to just blend around the edges of the concealer we just put. Then we're going to use the same dark concealer we were using on our face earlier and blend it around the sides. And now I'm just getting the black eyeshadow and putting it on my ears just so that everything is unified. And there we have it. That's all you need for this look. Thank you so much for watching and please check out my other Halloween themed costume videos I have and please subscribe join the family and don't be afraid to try this look it might take a while for you to get the eyes feel free to just do a very thick eyeliner thank you so much for watching bye I'll see you guys in my next video